indicate it was either the size of a small blimp or a large shrimp. Stay tuned for up-to-the-minute details. But now, back to our music program. <gasps> Do you really suppose there is a flying saucer up there? Not probably just a frisbee. My dad says there's no such thing as a person from out of space. That's only in the movies. Well, your dad didn't believe that animals could talk until he met me. <laughs> Do you believe in UFOs, Felix? Well, I don't know if I do or don't, but I'd sure like to see one. What do you suppose they look like? Well, the news bulletin said it was either the size of a small blimp or a large shrimp. <laughs> well, that's a big help. They won't know if they should fill it with gas or dip it in cocktail sauce. <laughs> People think they see things all the time. They probably just say that to get on the news. Mm. You know, I just wonder if there really are other people on other planets. And if they're as curious about us as we are about them. Hmm, the only one that I know that's curious is a cat. <laughs> well, you know, it was curiosity that led Columbus to America. And it was curiosity that made Benjamin Franklin discover electricity. And it was curiosity that gets me in trouble all the time. <laughs> and it was curiosity that made men walk on the moon. And maybe, you know, it was curiosity that might have brought that UFO down here to Earth. And it's curiosity that's going to make me go over to the library. Because I want to find out more about this. The library? See you, Felix. Bye. See you later. What would the library have about UFOs? surface of our own minute sphere.
fascinated to see that the ice caps grew and receded with each year. Large areas changed color with the seasons. Did that mean vegetation? Straight lines were sighted on the planet's surface. Some called them canals. The American astronomer Percival Lowell believed that these Martian canals had been created by an advanced technological civilization. The discovery of just one bacteria on Mars or any other body of the solar system would indicate that the whole chain of evolutions, cosmic, chemical, and biological, is at work everywhere. In that case, there may be other intelligent civilizations capable of communicating with us. My goodness, Felix, what's got your tail in such a spin? <laughs> well, hi, Miss Marion. Did you hear about the flying saucer? Yes, I did. Well, what do you think? Do you think it's true? Do you think they're really creatures from outer space? Felix, this isn't the first time someone's reported seeing a UFO. They do that all the time. Do you think it happened? Gosh, I don't know, Miss Marion. It would be certainly exciting if it were true. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'd like to meet somebody from another planet. Well, I'll tell you, Felix, it's a pretty big universe out there. Planet Earth is just one of nine that orbit the sun, and I'm sure there are millions more just like it. Hmm, but I don't understand all this space stuff. Here, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is the sun, and yeah. this is Earth. Yeah. We are on Earth. Yeah. Earth orbits the sun. Yeah. Okay? And the sun is just one star in this one particular galaxy. Yeah. And there are billions of stars in the galaxy, each with their own planets. Yeah. And there are billions of galaxies within the universe. Yeah. Now do you understand? No. Well, to make it really simple, Felix, there are billions of planets out there, maybe one just like Earth. Oh, I see. So it may be true that because there are billions of planets just like Earth, that maybe there's a planet with people like us. Right. Flying saucers, even. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Felix. Why don't we do one of the children's fun puzzles? That might help you understand a little bit more. Sure, that'll give me some more information, I bet. Okay, and then later I'll give you some books or something. Okay, have a seat. Let's see, our first word has five letters. Five letters. And it goes across, this one right here. Okay, what's the clue? All right, the clue is this. When astronauts are in a capsule up in space, there's no gravity. Hmm. So their feet are no longer on the, on the ground. Instead, they blank around. They fly. They fly. It's sort of another no. word for fly. They're just suspended there in space. Flee, uh, fly, flee, flow, uh, uh, float. Float. Right. F L O A T. T. All right. Our next word has three letters, and it goes down. The second letter is an F. Now, you just came in here all upset because you heard about an unidentified flying object. Hmm. Now, if you shorten that and you wanted to abbreviate it, what would you call it? Unidentified flying object. That's three words. Oh, with three letters. U-F-O. 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 Now on to our third one. There's an O in the middle. Five letters again. Let me see if I can think of a good clue here. Remember when I was showing you the planets? Mm-hmm. And we talked about the sun? Mm-hmm. Well, the Earth also has something else. Now, when the sun goes down at night, and it's really going around, the Earth is really going around, what do you see instead of the sun in the sky? Uh, a flock of birds. No, sometimes you see a flock what? of birds. But instead of the sun, you see this. This uh, comes out with the stars. Uh, stars. And it's very uh, romantic at night to see this moon. Now, some planets have more than one. So if there was more than one, it would be? Moons. M-O-O-N-S. Okay, we're up to the last one. Let's see, the clue here. I like to stare at the moon. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I told you, it's pretty romantic if it's a full one. Don't That's why think? they call me a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Felix, please, you're beginning to sound like Wally. Okay, our last one. This is a ball of gas in space, and the sun is one of these. The sun is a ball of fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. 
fire. Right. No. But uh, what is the sun called? What is the sun, sun? up in the sky? Oh, it's a star. A star. Star. S T A R. I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of work to do. So why don't you do some reading with these books over here about the planets, and I'll okay. see you later. You go okay? ahead, and uh, I'll have fun just uh, reading some uh, okay. books right. about space. Now, let's see. What do we have here? Hmm. Uh, oh, this looks interesting. Hmm. You know, I bet you I could go to the moon and back before I could learn all there is to know about space. Hmm. All this space information is enough to send me into orbit. <laughs> What's that? Uh, come in. I said, uh, come in. You don't have to knock. This is a library. Oh, must be those kids. Come on in. The door's open. What? What? Out there. Say, uh, say, you don't look too healthy there. Uh, you're a little green around the gills there. Uh, are you a vegetarian? Here, have one of these. What? What? Hmm. Yes. There's something fishy going on here. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Greetings, Earthlings! I am a visitor from the planet Koala! Zoom, 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 zoom! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I, I, oh, oh, I feel it! Oh, oh, I, 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 really, I, you look like you've seen a ghost. But, but, it, it, it was in the sky. Have you been 
Give me those scary stories again at the library. Well, I feel it. What happened? Well, I, I, I don't know. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I forgot everything when I flew over here. What do you mean you flew over here? Wait a minute. Hold everything. Flew here. This is my space game, and you can't play unless I say so. But, 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 well, was, why don't you just sit down and tell about it now? Slow down. You should have seen it. Oh, it was. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, let me catch my breath here. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I was at the library, and I was reading books about planets. When all of a sudden I heard a noise at the door, and when I opened it, there were all these lights. Well, what kind of lights? All kinds of lights. Bright lights. I knew it. He's making this all up. Felix, this sounds kind of fishy to me. Are you sure you didn't bump into a door or something? Felix, I thought, I think you thought you heard us playing. And now you're just making fun of no, us. No, 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 it's yeah. true. I'm telling you. You're just trying to copy my face. Come on, kid, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm putting it out of your face. You got a nerve. Come on. Yo, yo. Felix? Yo, yo. Uh, Felix? You see, you see, I was telling the truth. <laughs> Yo-Yo is the man in the spaceship. <laughs> now, Yo-Yo, come on over here. Yo-Yo, are you really from another planet? Yes. <laughs> the planet there. Where's your spaceship? Uh... Oh. <laughs> Double parked. This isn't just another one of your tricks, is it, Felix? Well, what do you think, Wally? Mr. Yo-Yo, are you really from... there? <laughs> yes. Uh, perhaps a demonstration of my extra special powers. <sighs> Where's Wally? Where's Wally? <laughs> Where am I? Wally? <laughs> Gosh! So, you see, all you have to do, kids, is you use your little finger like this. It's easy. <laughs> well, now I really must be going. Now that my ship is fixed, I must be on my way. Do I you just... really have to go? You just got here. Yes, I really must be going. See, I've been here longer than you think. I just didn't let anybody see me until Felix. <laughs> and guess what? Yo-Yo didn't believe in space people either. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You see, we receive signals from satellites we send to outer space. And we picked up television and radio and telephone signals from your planet. This has been a test of the emergency broadcasting system. In 1970, a study of the feasibility for picking up interstellar communication was made in California. Um, by a number of radio scientists there, as well as astronomers and others. It's called Project Cyclops. The outcome of that study was that the United States had the technical capability of building a large radio array, which would be able to scan the heavens uh, with fairly great resolution and, and power sensitivity out to a distance of many hundreds or possibly thousands of light years, uh, with the very distinct possibility of picking up a signal if it were there. Our present technology is able to detect ourselves anywhere in this galaxy of about 250 billion stars. <laughs> but I still didn't believe there was life on other planets. I, I wanted to see for myself. I, my curiosity got the best of me, so I requested a special study pass so I could learn about life in other worlds and take the information back to the planet there. What did you learn about us? Well, I learned all kinds of different secrets. Two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Houston, Apollo 11 is calling you on the high.
high gain out here, Edo. Roger, we're out and clear on the high gain. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. Altitude 42. Houston, you're go for landing. Over. 30 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. Ready? Out of half. 30 seconds. Forward. Just. Contact light. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> well, now I really must be going. I just wanted to thank you again, Felix. Well, thank you, Yo-Yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to catch you later. Wow! Hey, I guess you guys believe me now, don't you? Yeah, sorry, Felix, we ever doubted you, but seeing really is believing. Just sure is. like Miss Marion said. Mm. Hey, Wally? Yeah, I miss Yo-Yo already. Oh. Gee. I wonder if he'll ever see us again. No, sure he will, Wally. He'll be watching us on TV. <laughs> oh, oh, Felix. <laughs> wave, Wally, wave. Come on. <laughs> whoa, 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 zoom. <laughs> <laughs>